This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is a long term planning, LTP. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see objectives of long term planning. Means why why we need to execute long term planning, business environment of long long term planning. Why why the long term planning is used, importance of long term planning. We will cover that. Long term planning scenario. What is long term planning scenario and why it is created? Then we will execute long term planning in the system. Then capacity planning using long term planning. Once you execute the long term planning. What is the how to do the capacity planning? We will see and then copy version. How to do the copy version? Like transferring the data from long term planning to the operative planning. Okay, so these are the topics we will be covering in the long term planning. Okay, so first we'll start with the introduction to long term planning. So here we will understand what is long term planning. Okay, in, in long term planning. In long term planning, future demand programs are simulated within a planning run in all bomb levels. So, long term planning is basically a uh, trial MRP kind of thing. Okay, so instead of running a before running the actual MRP run, in some industries, what they do, they uh, simulate the MRP using this long term planning before running the operative planning. So operative planning is MRP and this long term planning is like a simulative simulative MRP. So where they enter the demand, uh, run the long term planning and then check, they will check everything whether the raw material requirement, machinery requirement, all those things they will check. So it is like a simulation of MRP, simulative MRP. Okay. This is not an actual run but a simulative run where actual plan is not being affected so this this is as i just explained this is not a actual mrp run this is a simulation simulation of mrp run and when you're running this when you're running this long-term planning that your actual plan is normally not being getting affected okay you can execute simulative planning for the long or short term so you have both options uh, for long term and short term there is no time restrictions for the execution of long term plan so here you don't have any time constraint so you can choose your time period uh, time period for the planning as per your requirement okay so basically uh, the now the question is why you need to execute long term planning the main intention is to check the capacity situation material requirement and vendor or supplier ability to provide the material in proper time so you know the requirement but with that requirement whether your machines are able to manufacture the uh, product according to the requirement we need to check we can check your capa machine capacity situation and material requirement what is the raw materials required with that requirement and your vendors or supplier your uh, uh, procurement team procurement uh, external suppliers will be able to provide the materials in proper time or not to check all these things in advance you will use the long term plan okay the tools available for long term planning are used in the same way as are the tools in operative plan so this long term planning more or less similar to mrp the e codes will be different but the logic and the execution everything will be uh, same as your uh, normal MRP. Okay, so basically here uh, during this session, I will be using two terms. So you need to understand. So one is your normal MRP. This is called operative plan. Operative planning. Now the one which you are discussing today, long term planning long term planning it is a simulative mrp trial mrp kind 
So if I say operative planning means it's nothing but your MRP, normal MRP, which we discussed in the previous sessions. And this long term planning, which we are discussing today, LTP, it's like a simulation of MRP. Before running MRP, they will run this LTP and then they will check all these things. They will check all these things capacity situation, federal requirement and then whether the external suppliers are able to provide the metals in proper time or not they will check okay so this is the one the main the aims of long-term planning are one is simulation of the impact of a future demand program on all bomb levels so basically your future demand you you will be able to simulate it your future demand how how you are going to manage it Okay, and then leveling the capacity, your machine capacities, you will be able to check and your planning costs, you will be able to check and there will be a preview for purchasing and also preview for inventory management. All these things you can achieve well in advance before running MRP using this long term planning. It's like a simulation, you execute long term planning, you check everything. You check everything and then you will come to know whether you are, you are going to really fulfill that future demand or not. That you will decide using this LTP. Okay. So uh, to, run MR, to run LTP, to execute LTP, we need a planning scenario. Okay. So we will see how to create a planning scenario. We will understand what is planning scenario and we will create that planning scenario in the system. Okay. You use the planning scenario to define the settings for long term planning. So, to execute long term planning in the system, you need a planning scenario. So, this planning scenario, the planning scenario controls how the long term planning is to be carried out. So, basically, this planning scenario will control these things. Okay. We control, uh, we'll have these things. So, in the, in the long term planning, in the planning scenario, you will maintain your planning period planning period for the planned independent requirements i'll show you this in the system and then to which plants you can use this planning scenario you can enter the plants okay and the planned independent requirement version here you will maintain the uh, version okay uh, inactive version or active version for simulation version whether you have to consider the existing opening stock or not okay and uh, during the long term planning which one to consider purchase orders production orders which one you need to take it into account okay and the dependent requirements for the consumption based metals whether to consider that and the capacity version so all these things are maintained in the planning scenario. so to run long term planning you need a planning scenario so so the first step is you need to create a planning scenario okay so let's create a planning scenario Okay, so let's go to the system. Okay. So go to logistics, go to production. Okay, go to production planning here you have long term planning open this here scenario open this ms31 this is the t code to create the long term planning double scenario planning scenario double click you will get this screen create planning scenario so i will create like 200 okay planning scenario for demo I give the description and we are going to use this planning scenario for the long term planning so just ensure uh, first radio button is selected long term planning then click on the button continue so here this is not at released here you can give the period also so let's say i'll use this this year period from which period from which date to which date so i'll i want to use this scenario for this 2023 year okay now here are the you have the control parameters opening stock so during long term planning which one you want to consider whether you want to consider opening stock means existing stock or you don't want to consider so let's say i don't want to consider the existing stock keep it blank and then 
dependent requirements for 